YouTube, we're back in a place that you have never seen before. Basically, we're on the boat right now. No not in the water in my garage because it's work in progress. A lot of videos will be filmed on this boat. You see big old backwater boy sticker going up there. But enough of the crazy talk. Today is my top five favorite soft plastics and favorite ways to rig them. So, starting out at number five, something that everyone should start out with is a long worm. Doesn't matter if it's 10 inches, doesn't matter if it's six, five, whatever, but a longer worm with a tail. So, with these worms, with the tail, as they go through the water, the tail actually moves. So, it attracts a lot, it can reflect light off of them, it can really get the fish's attention, even if it's a dark color. My favorite way to rig this is obviously the Texas rig. If you don't know what the Texas rig is, check out my, I don't know which way that's gonna be, check out my video. I went over it, 10 beginner tips, but I'll briefly say how to rig it now. Okay, so you take your worm, put a weight on your line before you start, obviously. You want the weight facing the pointy side up, round side on here, so it goes like this. Starting off rigging it, go through the head just as much as this part. I don't know what that's called. This part down here that makes the uh, the wide gap in this, this straight part, you want to put it in the worm just about that much. Then once you put it in the worm just about that much, pull it through the bottom or the top, just like so. Then you would take it around, like so, and bring it to the bottom. You'll get to the bottom and it'll be all jacked up. You got to force it a little bit but force it and spin it so that the eye is sticking out and this looks like just like so. And then to make this even more weedless, you wanna look right about to where the hook is gonna go in to make the worm as straight as possible. So mine goes about this link right there. You wanna bend your worm, stick it through there, straight through, and then turn it, and that worm shall be straight. But now this, this hook's sticking all out, so you can pull it out a little bit and get it back in the guts of the worm so that the hook is slightly exposed, but the point is never exposed. So this can go through anything. And that's how I like to rig a long worm. Number four is a soft plastic that's always been around me but I've never used. It's kind of a family thing. But that is a tube. If you don't know what a tube is, it's a hollowed out worm basically, kind of thicker, and it's got a skirt on it, see? This is what a tube looks like. So my favorite way used to be to just Texas rig this, but I looked into it. They make actual tube jigs. So with this tube jig, you wanna open it up. It's hollow inside, so. Picture it like an octopus and you're sticking this right in its butt. And I've even seen people use lube it up with some uh, some swamp donkey sauce, you know what I'm saying? What you wanna do basically, self-explanatory, is just shove it right in there. This is gonna get very graphic, so watch your eyes. Oh, sorry. But now you got this, where it's at the top. Hooks poking perfectly at the bottom. Obviously, it's not weedless, so keep it out of some moss and stuff. But you're like, man, I can't even rig this thing. You want to find where the point is. You can tell, obviously, it's kind of lopsided, so the, the point's right there. And then just rub it. Rub, 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 rub. See how it's poking? Rub, 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 rub. Boom! Look at that. Just like so. It's poking out the top hook at the bottom. It's very solid, very good. The reason I like these so much is you can do a lot of movements with them. You can do a lot of things with them. This is just one way to rig them. But my favorite thing about these is you buy one pack, you can get through with that for a long time. With like worms, the tail will fall off maybe. The fish can bite it. If, the, if you get one fish, it could rip. With this thing, a hook gets on it and if it comes off, 
it's going straight up your line and right out its butt. Now all that's wrong with this is just a tiny hole where this is just going to go right back through. So you can reuse these so many times. If you want to re-rig, you don't got to throw these back in the water. You can put them right back in your bag. Like, I'm going to put this right back in my bag now. Number three is something I've always liked, I've always used, all my friends use it, Ben uses it, Barrett uses it, literally everyone I can, I can think of uses it. Guggen makes one, literally any, you can find these anywhere. But basically it's just a bug. But bugs can be this and that and this and that, but a soft plastic bug is what I'm talking about here. This one's my favorite, it's from Reaction Innovation. It's very like a hard soft plastic. Hard soft plastic, that sounds stupid, but it's a harder soft plastic. I got these from them too. So my favorite way to rig this, put that thing on a jig as a trailer. I like using this on a football jig because... Hello? Hi. Hi. <laughs> They've never met you. Mm. It's my brother. <laughs> That's Skeeter Keeter. He has a lot of names. Uh, Skeet and Keaton. Skeet and Keaton. So, as I was saying, best way to use these, football jig. Football jig is used at the bottom. So it's going across the bottom. You got this at the bottom as a trailer, using the little thing right there. So with this, one of two things. You can literally just poke it through. Bang, it's on there. I don't like this because it's too far out. It makes the jig super big, so if you're getting bites, Sometimes you're gonna get that thing coming off. You're gonna get your, uh, you get amputated. <laughs> but way to rig this: shove that thing through there, get it bending like that, poke it out the head. And all jigs, if jig, if a jig don't have this, I don't know what's up. But all jigs have a, a little like hook right there to make sure this stays on. So you won't have this thing coming off. Bang, just like that. I know this color. It's not the best matching, but I just picked it up and put it on there. But if you are putting a trailer on a jig, a trailer on this, that, whatever, try to match your stuff. If you're not matching your stuff, then it looks weird. Oh, number two on the list is something that I just recently started using. I just recently started using all the time when I throw certain things. This soft plastic is a swimmer. It has a lot of names, but any swimmer with a paddle tail is what I'm talking about. Saucy Swimmer from Guggen Baits. Cane Thumper from Big Bite Bait Co. And these that I don't know where I got these. Actually, I got them from Mystery Tackle Box, but I don't know the brand. But all these have this swimming tail so I just call them swimmers. But these things, these things can change the game, I swear. These things I put on a spinner bait, put these on anything, put them on a swim jig. The thing will be 10 times as better. Swim jig, better. Spinner bait, better. You can Texas rig it, better. If the fish are biting heavy, throw this thing in there, they see that. My favorite way to rig this is also as a trailer, but I like using this on a spinner bait. I cannot tell you, I use this Guggen. You've seen it in my past videos. If you haven't, go check them out. Dude, I put this thing on a, I put one of the white saucy swimmers on a white spinner bait. We were catching non-stop fish 24 seven. Ask Ben or Bear, and ask me. Ask me right now. Yes, it happened, what are you talking about? Last but not least, the greatest. And this can be spoken by plenty of people, including myself. Don't say I'm hopping on no kind of bandwagon. This has been my favorite worm forever. If you're wondering what this is, it is the Senko worm. If you don't know what a Senko worm is, let me just pull out any bag from my tackle. Oh no, let me not do that. It is literally just a straight worm. But these things can be used so many ways and somehow they're effective in literally every way possible. That does not stop me from having my favorite way to rig it. Favorite way, if you wanna catch hogs, you wanna go to somewhere, you just wanna catch some fish, put this thing on a wacky rig hook. Put this thing on a wacky rig. It's a wacky rig hook, it's weedless. The way to put this on is you wanna bend this thing in half, Find where the middle is, 
Do not put a weight on this. this, it's the point of it. And stick it through. Throw that on there on a finesse rig. Throw that in there on a bait caster. Throw that in there with your hand. Throw that in there on a leaf, on a stick. You'll catch a fish. If you want to get real fancy, fancy, something I just found in the completely wrong aisle of Dick is these fishing o rings. These help so much. If you watch my 10 beginner tips video, I did not have these. I could not find these. I was using zip ties for the longest time. Seriously. If you're wondering why you use these, if a fish pulls on this and it's right in the middle, it's only got half of this meat to go through so it's gonna rip off a lot you're gonna lose a lot of these if you do that if you want to lose less worms not saying you still won't lose some get this o-ring put it through there and slide slide right to the middle you'll find the middle again and slide find the middle that's the middle and then swoop, right through there bang dude I'm telling you if you want to catch some fish Try this. I promise you will not be disappointed. Remember, do not put a weight on this. It will sink straight to the bottom. The point of this is to slowly glide down. These Senko worms are so, what's the word for it? Customizable, you can do anything with these things. Say you wanna put it on a Ned rig. Bite it off, put it on a Ned rig. And yeah, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this simple little video. Let me know if you want more tips. Obviously, disclaimer, obviously, by no means, I have not mastered any of these rigs. I have not mastered any of these soft plastics, but I have a good understanding how they work and how to catch fish with them. Thank you for watching. Once again, stay tuned for our Gill Tech video. That's coming soon. We filmed intro. All we gotta do is fish, catch some fish on these sick jigs. Check them out description check out our merch description giveaway coming soon check out our past videos subscribe turn the bell notification on you will not be disappointed i will see y'all later thank you very much go out buy you some senkos go out buy you some of these worms try them out tell me what you think about them description below let me know your favorite worm later